Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your monthly reading, April 2019. It's your money and finance and career reading. And this is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Aries. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the month. The Page of Pentacles, Aries. Earth energy here, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Or this could be a communication. It could be an offer. It could be a communication of stability. There's fascination and introspection here, and interest. This person's attitude suggests that he desires money. He's goal-oriented. This could be good news about a worldly ambition. This could also be a student. They have respect for learning. They move slowly. They're absorbed. This is someone that's practical and cautious. This can be a new job or a new project or a new investment, even new studies. This would be a person that is youthful, they're dependable, and they're practical. And they're willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. He's a loyal friend and gives good advice. He seems solemn and scholarly. And he's willing to work hard to learn about what interests him so very much. Pages can be children or the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. This is love of material things, a good card to start a new business. It's an opportunity to make money, starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. This is a trigger point, being productive, maybe finding something. He wants to know the nature of things and how they work. This can be an unexpected new start. Your second card, and this is the energy, crossing over your path. The Ten of Cups, Aries. Water energy, one of the most beautiful cards in the deck as far as I'm concerned. This is shared love. It's a happy family life and contentment. It's lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It can be true love here. This is better than you expected. And you're going to be embarking on something that makes life worth living. A happy home, shared love. There's blessings here and peace and family. A grateful and joyous family. And you have enough happiness to share with those around you. These are emotional connections and home life that are blessed. So take time to be grateful for all the love and happiness you have in your life. And focus on what you do have and not on what you have not yet received. This is being serene and blissful, emotionally fulfilled and liberated. You'll be doing things like loving unconditionally, appreciating abundance, and living your dreams, and enjoying family. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. Number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the High Priestess. This can be a Taurus or a Virgo. The High Priestess is connected to the Moon and Venus. Sometimes this is a Pisces. It's female energy, which is passive. There's hidden influences here and some kind of secret knowledge. This is the link between the seen and the unseen. It's latent power to manifest. It's a period of gestation before new life. Has to do with divine truth and wisdom. 
This is nurturing the spark of creation, the connection with the unconscious world. It has to do with the unknown. This may be a time when it is better to sit still and seek peace within yourself. Seek awareness and be still. You may be experiencing aware awareness of the invisible world where inner change takes place before it manifests in the outer, material world. And your attunement to these inner, invisible sources is acute now, and you're in a position to take advantage of this. You may want to literally remove yourself from your day-to-day -day life to go deeper into your inner core and tune in to your inner voice and spiritual awareness. A revelation is about to happen. You may see the solution to a problem. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Three of Pentacles, Aries. More Earth card, energy. This represents employment and synergy. This is a lucky card. It's support from teamwork, and nice critics teach you how to do it better. So listen to them. These are people that are coming together to make something happen. It's a foundation being set, the early stage of progress, and now a project is beginning manifestation. It's using your knowledge to turn a profit. This is the early stage of progress. There is still much to learn. You might be rethinking your efforts to see if they match up with your long-term goals. This is assistance and contribution. It's teamwork, guidance, planning, and mentors. Take critics as teachers that are really helping you. Criticism helps you grow. Priorities are being established and plans are being put into action. And there's initial successes here. Integrity and ethics you bring as well as vision, skill, and spiritual values. You might be cooperative and be inspired by a team effort. You could be discussing your efforts and your plans. This is using a quality of workmanship and high standards and asking for opinions. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Seven of Cups, Aries, this is water energy. Has to do with choices and fantasy, imagination, and illusion. Can be confusion here because of all those options, but there's great creative potential. You have many op options available, so you have difficulty choosing. And this is the Gambler card, so only do what is 100% secure. Let your feelings guide you, because there may be someone around you that's not totally truthful. These multiple choices, think before jumping in. You have so many choices available to you that indecision will prevent you from choosing anything. This can be brainstorming and altered states. You might even have your head in the clouds. Dreaming of all that could be might be keeping you from focusing on the here and now. That would prevent forward progress. So shake things up to recognize other paths you can take. It is good to dream and experiment and visualize, but make sure your fantasies are not blocking you from development. A choice has to be made, and much care and consideration needs to be devoted to it. And now your oracle card from the Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn. Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Look beneath the surface in your life and you'll find treasure. Bounty is awaiting you in many forms. The secret is knowing that you deserve it and are worthy of it. Something that you thought was ordinary will turn out to be extraordinary. Take a second look at the people and situations in your life. Sometimes receiving treasure is simply a matter of seeing life in a new way. The treasure has always been there. You just didn't see it. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that on the journey, 
the traveler confronts dragons and overcomes obstacles and in the process discovers the depth of treasure in their soul. Often the treasure is found in the most unexpected of places. Sometimes after it seems that you've faced an inner dragon, you'll find the hidden treasure. Success begets success. So as you begin to seek and find the bounty in your life, more and more rewards will follow. This card heralds a bountiful, prosperous, and abundant time in your life. What a great reading for money and career, Aries. Here's your take note moment. Living by the rule of fair exchange is living by the law of attraction. Always give fairly in your business and personal life. In business, give more value than the money you receive. In your personal life, always give back what you have received. If you have received support when you needed it, have gratitude in your heart as someone asks for your support and give it back if you can. All support comes to you through the universe, so when you give it back, it also goes to the universe. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.